Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today is the second special episode with Matt Adlard all the way from the UK and we're going to make a beautiful sunflower tart. This morning we picked our own beautiful, very huge sunflowers <laughs> and first we're going to husk them and turn it into a beautiful sunflower perline with some chocolate ganache, a little brownie of chocolate, a coffee ganache and just all super, super and uh, very delicious layers. Um, so. Matt, thanks for coming and we're going to make a beautiful, beautiful tart. I'm excited to be back and this, the design of this, honestly guys, is going to blow your mind because it is creative, the flavours of things that I've never even come across before, so I know you're all going to love it. So, let's begin. First we're going to make the sunflower praline and for that we'll need to husk the sunflowers. Start by removing the top layer. This should come off very easily. Then peel the sunflower seeds off. Then open up the seeds and remove the husk. You have machines for this, but you can also do it by hand. And yes, this took a very, very long time. So for the caramel, we're gonna add 250 grams of sugar into a medium saucepan. We're gonna pour 100 grams of water on top of that. You really wanna soak the sugar and then put onto the heat, medium heat, and we're gonna bring it to a light caramel color. When the caramel is golden, add 250 grams of the sunflower seeds and continue heating and mixing till the whole thing is golden brown and caramelized. And once you've got this lovely caramel color, you're going to transfer the perline onto a silicon mat and let it cool completely until it's solidified. So once your perline is set and it's nice and solid, we're going to add it into a wet grinder. You can also use a food processor. I don't have a wet grinder, so Jules, you're going to have to show us how to use this because I've got no idea. It's actually pretty simple. You just mix it up a bit uh, because otherwise the pieces are too big. And then there's a little bottom on the bottom that says on and you just press oh, okay. it. Now, like Matt said, you can also do this in a fruit processor. It's going to be a lot faster, but you need a pretty powerful one and it's not going to be as smooth. Once it's smooth, take the praline out of the grinder and set aside 100 grams of the praline for later. The remaining praline you can pour into a big round metal ring and then let it set in your freezer. Then for the chocolate crumble, mix 50 grams of almond powder with 40 grams of flour, 50 grams of sugar, 50 grams of butter and 1 gram of flaky salt. Now finally also add 20 grams of melted dark chocolate and then knead it into a nice dough. Now spread it on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet. Now bake the crumble at 150 degrees Celsius for around 20 to 25 minutes. Stir it every 5 minutes with a whisk and you end up with a beautiful crumble. Once that's done and still hot, transfer it into a bowl and add 90 grams of dark chocolate. Mix it well till all the chocolate is melted. Then transfer it onto a silicon sheet and put another sheet on top. Roll it into a thin sheet with a rolling pin and then let it set in your freezer. Now for the chocolate mousse. For that first soak one leaf or 1.6 grams of gelatin in cold water. Meanwhile mix 100 grams of milk with 25 grams of cream, 15 grams of sugar and 25 grams of egg yolk. Now while stirring heat this up till it's 85 degrees celsius and it has thickened. Then dissolve your gelatin. Now also add 125 grams of dark chocolate and let it cool down out of the fridge. Then pour 200 grams of cream into a bowl and beat it till it's at yogurt thickness. After that, add the chocolate ganache that's at room temperature and fold everything together. Then transfer it into your desired mold. Find a link to this one in the description of this video. Now place the frozen praline in the middle. Then take the frozen chocolate crumble and cut it with a big round cutter. Place it on top of the mousse and praline and when necessary, level it with a big pellet knife. Then let it set in your freezer. So next we are going to make the coffee creme. And we're going to start by taking two gelatin leaves or 3.3 grams and we're going to place them into a bowl of cold water and let them soak for about five minutes. Meanwhile mix 100 grams of cream with 130 grams of espresso, 40 grams of egg yolk, 30 grams of sugar and 10 grams of cornstarch. And now we're going to whisk this on a medium heat until it comes to a boil. 
Once your cremo is nice and thick, you're gonna take that gelatin you softened earlier, you're gonna use your hands just to squeeze out any excess water. And while this cremo is still warm, you drop in the gelatin and it should just melt in really nicely. Then transfer it into a piping bag and fill your mold. Be sure to really fill all the corn as well. To be safe, just tap the tray a couple of times and then let it set in your freezer. Now we're going to make the chocolate brownie. For that, transfer 140 grams of butter into a saucepan and melt it on a low heat. Once it's melted, add 140 grams of dark chocolate and mix this. Then crack two eggs in a bowl and after that add 140 grams of sugar and 2 grams of salt. Now beat this till it's fluffy and stiff peaks start to form. Then add the butter and chocolate mixture and mix it for another 10 seconds. And sift 90 grams of flour into the mixing bowl together with 1 gram of baking soda. Gently fold this together. You want to keep as much air as possible. Once you have a beautiful, airy and smooth cake mix, pour it on a tray that's covered with a silicone sheet and then evenly spread it. Now bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for around 14 minutes. Then let it cool down. Once the brownie has cooled down completely, cut it with a big round cutter and set aside for later. Now for the praline ganache. First, soak one leaf or 1.6 grams of gelatin in cold water. So like I said earlier, we've got the other half of our sunflower praline here. It's 100 grams. We're going to add that into a medium saucepan. And then on top of that, we're going to add in our cream. And all we're going to do is put this on a medium heat and bring it to a boil. So that's 100 grams of praline with 150 grams of cream. Then dissolve the gelatin. And once you have dissolved that gelatin in, I've got 100 grams of dark chocolate here. We're going to pour this over. Let it sit for just a minute and then we'll blend it until it's nice and emulsified. And finally, we're going to add in 3 grams of flaky salt. You want to add this at the end because you want to keep the texture of that salt in the praline ganache. So just stir that through and then we're going to pour it into our silicone mold. Just like with the other two molds, be sure to really fill all the corners. Then place the brownie in the middle and give it a little push. Now fill the mold completely with the ganache. And then you're just going to take a palette knife, you want to smooth this out, get it really nice and even, and then we're just going to pop it in the freezer. Let it set in your freezer for at least 6 hours. Then the sunflower tuya. Mix 50 grams of egg white with 30 grams of sunflower seeds and 30 grams of butter. Blend this till smooth. Then add 20 grams of icing sugar, 30 grams of flour and a touch of black coloring powder. Blend this for another minute. Now take your tuya batter and spread it evenly on the silicone mold. Bake them at 150 degrees Celsius for around 60 minutes. Then keep them dry and covered for later. Then we're going to make the chocolate brush. For that first melt 200 grams of cocoa butter on a low heat. Once the cocoa butter is melted, pour it on 200 grams of white chocolate and emulsify it with a hand blender. Then add around 2 grams of yellow fat soluble coloring powder and mix it once more. Now pour it into a brush machine. So now that everything is solid frozen, you can just gently remove it from the mold and place it on top of each other. Then brush it with a nice layer of the chocolate brush and then transfer it onto a plate. Let it defrost and then place the sunflower tuya in the middle. Okay guys, that's it for today. I must say the tart looks amazing and it's really special to first start with picking your own sunflowers and turning it into a beautiful creation like this that's just super special and I can't wait to dig in. I'm excited for the sunflower praline because that is something I always thought you just made hazelnut praline. So this is something I'm so excited to try in combination with the coffee crema and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's... How do we do this? Yeah, we just dig in. Right? Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. The ganache is still 
pretty soft so be careful with that but the texture will be really nice oh mm. wow that really sings sunflower yeah wow and a combination with that little note of coffee that's mm. super nice and there's a because the, the sunflower is almost like salty but there's a sweetness that comes through that yeah wow it works very well mm. and then the brownie the brownie is a little bit it, the brownie brings the texture because it's a bit chewy which which works so well with the softness of the ganache and the pretty nave mm. i thought it would be heavier but it's not heavy at all it's very no. light so you want to finish it <laughs> i like how we've <laughs> taken like <laughs> the little circles out of it mm. like, crumble base yeah yeah oh yeah like we said really happy with the result um so thanks for watching guys i want to thank matt just like last week we did a great video together super happy um so thanks for that and uh please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next like and share the video and subscribe if you want to see more great content like this and as always bon appetito yeah <laughs>